Hi everyone, it's the Conundrum back again with another reaction video. And this reaction is actually to a movie on Netflix called The Weekend of. It just premiered yesterday, April 27, 2018. So I want to give my reaction to the actual movie that just came out. But before I do, please like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share and hit that bell for the notifications. So that way you get notified when I come out with new reaction videos. So anyway, on with the actual movie. The movie was basically about two of polar opposite dads who were basically trying to take care of a wedding for their daughter and, and son. So basically, um, Adam Sandler's character is named Kane Laskic. He's basically the father of the bride, and he wants to take care of the whole wedding himself. Now, of course, he doesn't have all the money to take care of all this thing, so that's when all the funniness starts to come in because he's trying to do everything in his power to basically take care of everything that has to do with the wedding. Uh, we also see Chris Rock's character, whose name is Kirby Cornitz, because he's basically rich. He has all this money. He's kind of a playboy. He has an ex-wife. Um, he doesn't really spend a lot of time with his son, so it's kind of one of those things where the father is really kind of absent from the family. You do see his ex-wife uh, in the picture. She also is, um, she also is, you know, messing with the guy. I believe he's a Latino guy during the episode, or should say during the movie as well. So it's very interesting to kind of see the dynamics of it all. Um, Adam Sandler is still married to his wife. Um, they're fighting back and forth again, and of course they have a couple of other kids that are actually involved in the actual movie as well. So, of course, we see a lot of slapstick going on with that little movie. Um, we see the father of the bride, of course, trying to take care of every avenue he can by, you know, of course, cutting corners with uh, trying to get the actual hall for the actual wedding or the ceremony. And, of course, we see the father of the groom basically trying to take and help Adam Sandler character, Kenny, basically take care of this wedding. But every time he tries to do it, he turns them down. So, as the episode goes along, we see more and more of the family coming in. They end up having to stay at the actual house, basically trying to bunk into this little bit small house, and everybody's trying to make do with what they have in the house. So, of course, we see a lot of different humor going on with the family members. You know, everybody's kind of trying to make it their own, try to deal with what they can deal with at the time. And, of course, we see, you know, Chris Rock's family also there as well. They have also moved into the house for the moment uh, for the wedding, so we see a lot of that going on. And basically, we kind of see a whole different dynamics of two different types of families coming together, trying to figure out how they're going to manage things. Uh, we do see them coming together a lot, um, trying to basically, you know, learn each other and try to figure out how they're going to take care of this wedding. Uh, we also have a best friend of the bride who is actually trying to make sure that the actual wedding goes, let's just say that the bachelor party goes well and that, you know, her friend is, you know, very well taken care of for you know, the time that she's a bride because she has two other friends coming in who are basically, you know, friends from college and they kind of got a different way of doing things. So it's interesting to see that as well. We also see um, some other characters come in. We also see Steve uh, Bushi, Bushidi, um, Bushimi, I think that's how you say his last name. He's actually a character named Charles. His father is Seymour. Uh, he's an older guy. The, the father is like 87 years old and they're kind of pawning him off to make him out to be a veteran. But anyway, the movie is pretty okay at best. I mean, honestly, I would give it maybe a C minus, maybe a C. I really couldn't give it a B because of the fact that it's kind of atypical of movies that you've seen that have to do with weddings and stuff like that. So, you know, it wasn't anything to get a super tip over. I mean, honestly, I would say it's not something that you instantaneously need to catch as soon as it comes out. But, you know, if you feel like watching something on Netflix, then definitely check it out and go from there. So my final thoughts on this episode, I'll just say, I'll just say this movie, um, is basically that it was pretty okay. I mean, like I said, it had just slapstick humor, but don't get all, you know, weepy-eyed for certain parts of the father and daughter dance and stuff like that. Because... It kind of had a little more humor to it that it really didn't need in certain aspects, so it didn't seem like it needed to be there, but they added it anyway. So, you know, those are just my thoughts about the actual movie. So, of course, when you get a chance, check it out. You know, leave comments down in the comment section. And before I go, of course, like, comment, and share. Like, comment, and share, and definitely hit that notification button. And subscriptions. I always appreciate anybody who, who subscribes to my page as well. So, that's just my, my thoughts on the actual movie. So, this is Conundrum signing off. You guys have a great rest of the weekend. Peace.